Welcome back, everyone. A huge day at the U.S. Supreme Court where the future of abortion rights hang in the balance. Hundreds of protesters on both sides of the issue descended on the nation's capital, just as the nine justices heard arguments in a case that could overturn Roe versus Wade. Skylar Henry is outside of the Supreme Court with more. Protesters were divided by metal fences outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Inside, justices heard oral arguments for the most consequential challenge to the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision on abortion to date. Life is worth protecting from conception. We're moving towards a society where we're forcing people to give birth, and that's not the solution. At the heart of the case, known as Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, is a Mississippi law that bans abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. This is a wonderful opportunity to return this to the people. This case is a major test of the high court's 6-3 conservative majority, with the decision expected before summer of next year. Why should this court be the arbiter? rather than uh, Congress, the state legislatures, state Supreme Courts, the people. They're going to be ready to say, no, you're just political. You're just politicians. And that's what kills us as an American institution. 21 conservative states have already passed laws banning all or almost all abortions if Roe versus Wade is overturned, while 16 states are working on legislation to protect access to abortion. I support Roe v. Wade. I think it's a rational position to take. A recent CBS News poll showed a majority want the Roe versus Wade decision to stay as is. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court.